Good day, tubes. How's she going? So uh, today, uh, Dilly and I are going to go uh, set up that grave up at the other cemetery there. And uh, just did a nice grimy cold start on the old truck here, and uh, just letting her sort of warm up a bit. And uh, got to go down to the garage, and I got the cardboard and all that crap from that new uh, stove in the back of the truck here still. So. I got to uh, go and throw that in the bin thingy there. And uh, we can back up to the garage door and uh, get that uh, device loaded on there and then uh, head her up and see if we can find where this grave is for today at the other cemetery there. So, And uh, after we do all that set up and stuff, we'll, uh, we'll head up and show you some of these carvings and stuff that are up there. They're pretty nice, but uh, I bet you they were expensive. Well, anyways, uh, let's get at her. My name's Bill, and you're watching Bill's T-Max on the YouTube TV. Okay, so basically what I gotta do here is kind of unload everything. I gotta get the device off the trailer first, put that in the truck first, then the blanket's back on top, and then the plank's on top. That's sort of the way I like to do it, so everything kind of comes out in order as you need it, right? So the plank go down on the hole first, and then you put the blankets down and then you put the device on top so uh, it kind of sucks to having to do it that way because I got to unload it all first before I can load it in but anyways I do hello we got the truck unloaded here ready to rock so uh, let's uh, get unloading here okay so we got the trailer off I left one blank I took one extra with me just in case and uh, we got them all loaded up in the back here so yeah she's all loaded and we can't see much but it's all in there so let's head her up Oh, we're lots early. I didn't really want to leave here till 10.30, but, you know, I'm ready to go, so I might as well head her up, and uh, it can just sort of sit there and wait, and, uh, you know, we'll do whatever while we're waiting, so. Today, the life of a vault man-ish kind of sort of guy. So, anyways, we've got to watch our stuff back there, make sure we don't lose any boards. I don't think we're going to, we're not really going that far. It's just on the other side of town, so. Anyways, let's uh, get ripping, and uh, once we get there, we'll flip the cameras on. Alrighty, so we're just about on the other side of town here. This is uh, heading west right now, or southwest, I guess the Dewey says, but to me it's west. <laughs> but uh, we've got to turn here, and then there's the big cemetery on the corner here, right beside the highway. That, that's lovely, eh? Get a lot of comments about my cemetery and how it's nice and, you know, tucked in and stuff, and it's quiet, and it's nice, you know, so. I got no idea where this grave is yet, so um, apparently it's already ready. Um, they dug it on like last Thursday or something like that. They got her. This is all run by the town here, eh? The town guys. Now, where do we go? I don't know. Let's head this way, I guess. Keep our eye out for these. This is going to be tricky because I bet you there's snow on it now. Gotta be up here somewhere because they would have dug this and then there would have been no snow. And they probably got um, cover uh, like sheets of plywood over it now and then there's uh, snow covered that so this is gonna be really tricky to find, I bet. But uh, I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. I don't know if they left a pile of dirt or gotta look for that or there's one of the carvings there. Sorry, we'll show you them after. But. Uh, so far, I don't see any sign of anything dug fresh, so we'll have to see. It's fairly big in here, too. It's not quite as big as mine, I don't think, but uh, it's, you know, good size. And roughly around the same age. Hmm. Don't see much of anything yet. Sort of a tricky thing, you know, because like it's not very often it happens in that sequence where you know they've had it dug and then they covered up with plywood and, and uh, the um, <clears throat> covered with snow, right? But hopefully it's not way the frig down the hill there somewhere. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know. I don't know where it is. But anyways, I'll keep looking here, and then if I find her, uh, find them, I'll uh, show you where it is. 
Oh, just after I shut the camera off, I looked over there, and there it is, I think. I'll have to double check, though, but um, I'm kind of thinking that's probably it. I don't see anywhere else. I'll take a little drive around again and come back up and around, but uh, actually... Well, got them set up. I guess that's it, because there's no uh, snow cleared anywhere else, so that's got to be the one. But anyways, there's no monument up, so I can't really tell. But anyways, the cafe's here, friggin' right. Well, I was still waiting for the funeral to come in, so I figured we'd take a bit of time and show you these uh, statues they've got carved here. Pretty neat. A couple of horse heads and a dog or a wolf or something. Pretty neat, eh? That's way something more better than I could do, I'll freaking tell you that. So, yeah, pretty sweet. And the dog. So, they've got about four or five of them in here. There's uh, another one up around the corner here. Let's go have a look. So here's the one uh, <clears throat> we uh, drove by when we come in. It's, I think, the first one they put in 2004. It's a robin. It's like a bird to get here um, in the spring, and they don't, uh, they fly uh, south, I guess, in the uh, in the fall. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. It's a big one. I guess they did it right where she was. But see, look at the base now. That doesn't look too good, does it? Uh -oh. I don't know what's gonna happen now, but uh, anyways, we'll see what happens, I guess. Pretty cool. He looks pretty good still, but the rest of the tree doesn't look too good. Uh -oh. And this one's really cool. I really like this one. This is really, really neat. Once we get around here, it's like a tree with some raccoons in it and an owl up there. Look at the detail of that owl, eh? Like, if you didn't know that was there, that actually might kind of freak you out a bit. But, the raccoons in the tree, climbing up the tree and stuff, and a couple little ones down there. That's pretty, uh, pretty neat carving, that one. I don't know how old that one is. It's not as old, but, as that robin, but, uh, it's neat how he sort of left the tree as a tree, too, right? Pretty sweet. And there's a couple more over here we're going to go look at. Oh, I think this is the last one. I thought there was another one, but that must be it. So we got a piper. Pretty neat. Well, that was donated by somebody in memory of friends and family, Ed and Ivy Amos and family. Oh, okay. That's pretty sweet. Piper dude. He's uh, kind of rough looking in the face there. But uh, still pretty neat. Neat sculpture. Way better than I could do. <laughs> so just at the top of the hill here at the back corner, give you a bit of a shot of the whole place here. It's uh, pretty hilly in here. Like, look at that hill there, eh? When I'm be doing burials up here, I'll tell you, it's not so bad up over here, but, you know, pretty nasty. But usually in the wintertime, they all shut this place down. But for some reason, they got this uh, go ahead with this feller today. So, uh, but I know they don't like uh, doing them in the winter. That's going to be a freaking nightmare to fill that back in. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not doing it. Trying to get your tractor going back up the hill again. Oh, man backwards you'd end up falling into the grave I think I don't know I might sit and watch that here I'm not sure I could probably stay in the truck down there after and then uh, watch them do that friggin nightmare eh but uh, yeah normally this time of year she shut down but uh, goes way over there to that fence you know so it's a fair fair good size here I don't think it's quite as big as mine though it may be pretty close but it's laid out more like a square than you know long skinny thing like mine is so but anyways uh, and then they got this bush back here but apparently they're not allowed to clear it because of all the tree people the uh, i don't mean people that live in there like seriously no there's a lot of uh historical tree people that don't want any of these trees cut down in here so it's like okay <laughs> a little weird but anyways don't know what happens if a tornado whips through there and rips all these trees down but uh, i see one that's actually been pulled down in there it looks like falling down maybe i don't know but anyways, let's head her back down to the truck. Well, looks like they just showed up, so I uh, don't know what time it is really, but it's just after uh, 12, I think, so there we go. Hopefully they don't fall down the hill. Holy. Well, they're all standing by the, around the hole there now, around the grave, and uh, I know the hearse is uh, parked just behind their Cadillac there. Sort of hard to see with the trees, but... Maybe while they're carrying on, I'll just uh, film that for you so you can see how that's sort of done and stuff if you've never done that before. 
Uh oh, better shut that off. Well, they're all done. They're dispersing. And uh, a few have left already, but there's still a few cars up there. So i got to wait until they're all pretty much gone. And uh, then I'll uh, probably the coach driver, the hearse driver, will be sticking around until, you know, we get her lowered in and stuff. But I won't uh, film any of that because that's kind of, you know, sensitive -y, personally kind of stuff and stuff like that. So, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, whenever they're all done, uh, we'll head up. Well, I'm all done. Oh, man, I love watching town guys work. Holy lazy. Oh man. But uh, I'm heading her out there now. He is uh, not a grumpy fellow or nothing. He's the lines fell and everything. But uh, he's like, well, I got to move my truck around here and back down the hill. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going to head out. We'll see you later. <laughs> oh man. But oh, just watching them is just so funny. I couldn't stand working like that. But um, I don't know if I got a shot or not, but they had uh, a couple of T-bars drove in to uh, reinforce the wall of the grave beside. And uh, they, uh, hang on a sec, turn the camera here. They have them drove down into the ground. I don't think it was too far, but, uh, and then basically they put some boards in behind those to keep that grave from caving into the one they just dug. I, I don't generally bother with that. I let it cave in and then scoop her out. But anyways, that's what they do, and uh, trying to, they're cleaning up there, they're getting all the stuff out, and he gives her one little tug. Oh, I guess we're going to have to cut these ones off. I'm like, what? Give the thing a pull, buddy. Holy frig. So, sure enough, he runs down to their little worky shed shoppy thing here, and he comes back with a freaking um, uh, grinder on an electric, uh, like a rechargeable grinder. And he starts going at these T-bars and chops them off like a foot below ground and then throws the pieces in the hole. I'm like, dude, I probably could have pulled those out with my bare hands and like, whatever, you know. They got a backhoe sitting there they could have hooked the chain onto and hiked them out of there, no problem. But no, we'll just, we'll just chop them off, leave them. It's like, wow. But anyways, uh, two of them two of them working there from, you know, stumble over on top of each other. and Whereas I do all my stuff myself, you know, and whatever. <laughs> But you can just tell that they're town guys because they're just so slow. Even the one guy talks like this, he's so slow. It's freaking it's freaking funny. But anyways, they're getting paid three times as much as I do to do the exact same job, but they work for the town, so. Anyways, whatever, we're heading home. All right, so we're reorganizing stuff here and uh, I had to, uh, those boneheads up there, they didn't uh, dig the hole quite big enough. I couldn't get my straps out the way I normally do. Normally what I do is do a, like a seesaw thing from under the casket and then slips out, you know, but it was too tight. So I had to, uh, basically what I do is undo like this until I get right down to the core there and then it's joined with a big metal coupler joiner thing there. So what I do is uh, unclip it there and then just uh, pull it right from underneath the casket, you know, that's the only way I can get them out, so, but anyways, I had to tear them all off here, I forgot to flip the camera on, but I had to tear them all off, and had them all stretched out everywhere, there's like 25 feet of strap on each side here, right, so, hopefully I got them back on, and in the same number of wraps, so, what we're going to do now is tighten her up, it's cold, tighten her up and see if they both tighten up equally, because if you got one that's looser than the other, when you put the casket on next time, it'll sink. And it'll sag on the one end, look really bad. So we're looking pretty good. Now I got to, uh, whoop, and that's lock. Stupid thing. I got to, uh, there we go. I got to get in there now and uh, give it a, 
push and uh, make sure they both uh, squish out the same. So anyways, uh, let's go give her a push. So normally when I'm over the hole, I just step on it and squish it in, you know, make sure they're both tight. But you can see how much I'm getting out of that, right? So hopefully this garbage can doesn't collapse on me. When I get this one tight, we've got the same droop as the other side. That's pretty much holding my weight there, so I'd say we're looking pretty good. That is good. So let me get myself out here again. And uh, we'll give her one final tighten here. And hopefully we're good. Uh, just give her a cranking on here. So if one was getting tighter than the other one, that'd be bad, but we were looking actually pretty good there. Oh, that's perfect. Alrighty, we can throw her back on the trailer. Well, there we go. We're all loaded back on the trailer. Good to go again. So, freaking right, starting to snow now. So that's awesome. But uh, anyways, I almost need to get the snowblower out and cut back some of these snow banks. But uh, it's not too bad yet. So apparently by the weekend it's supposed to be like five degrees. So <laughs> most of them are melt again. But uh, oh well. Anyways, that's probably going to be here today. Whoa. There's not much else really happening. Uh, for, for right now, I know I got a couple things I got to work on, but uh, I haven't had my lunch yet, sir, or much to eat yet today for breakfast or anything. So I'm kind of hungry and kind of grumpy and kind of don't really feel like doing much, you know. So I think we're just going to go home for a while, and maybe later on if we get something going on. But I don't know. We'll uh, throw this through the editor from today's, and uh, probably going to call her a day. It's uh. Oh, what time is it? 21.30 almost, so, you know, I've still got some time in the day, but uh, time I get this all mended, edited up and stuff and uh, have some lunch, it'll be freaking 3 o'clock, the day's pretty much over by then. But anyways, uh, we're heading her home. So, uh, go check the mailbox, I guess, and see if there's any... Uh, any gold bars in there for me, or probably freaking phone bills, no doubt. But uh, anyways, let's go have a look, tubes. Oh, oh, I'll be stuck. Well, as far as we're gonna get. Uh, no mail for me, no gold bars, all cemetery stuff. So, oh well, we'll just throw that in the box and take her down later. But anyways, tubes, that's her for today. So you guys have a good one, and uh, we'll talk at you tomorrow. Ooh, and tomorrow's gonna be uh, Tractor Sim Farm Sim 2013 day. You're going to like it tomorrow. It's going to be awesome.